as soon as you cross that border into North Korea from China, I mean, no internet, no phone signal, no your, your phone is just dead. So like, I didn't have any contact to anywhere outside of North Korea for two weeks. <laughs> Just off the top of your head, mate, list us, uh, list us um, if you don't mind, a few of the, the, the sort of the maddest places, the most extravagant places. What kind of countries you've been to? Give us an idea. So maddest one I'd probably say is North Korea. Um, I did two weeks in North Korea. I wanted to spend my birthday out there. So I saw... <laughs> wow. I can't imagine anyone ever thinking that. Yeah. North, North Korea. Birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go to Butlins. crazy on my birthday. Like, I, there was three... There was so I went to obviously did the McGregor thing. Obviously, it was at the end of August, but I went to America for my birthday that time. Then the year after, I was doing London with no money for seven days, and my birthday fell in the middle of London with no money. Then I snuck into the Savoy and went in the pool and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then then there was North Korea. So like I I always wanted to like do something nuts on my birthday. To be honest, how did you get to North Korea? Again, it's easier than you actually think. It is. It's like I thought exactly the same. I thought, right, I need to get to North Korea. How do you even go back? Did you it just get that little tie, tie bloke to take you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this Volvo. And then, yeah, I just thought, how can I do it? I started Googling it, started speaking to a few people, and it's actually easier than you think. You know, people sort the visa out for you. They sort the flights out. They sort it's like a full itinerary trip. And, you know, you can do it for three days, go to North Korea for the weekend. Mm. <laughs> or you can do it for a week too, as long as you want. What what is it what is your opinion of that country? Um it, it's a tough one to answer. One because, you know, people are like my experience there was amazing. Was absolutely amazing. Met some amazing North Korean people and I would have loved to have kept in touch with them and I'd have loved to have flown them to the UK. But the reality of the situation is they don't have a passport. And as soon as you leave that country, you're never speaking to them ever again. Really? But unless when you go back in, you bump into them yeah. again. Cause, so, because the the North, the North Korean government they control like the, the, what, everything, 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 yeah. like so the like, internet and like yeah. So there's no so as soon as you cross that border into North Korea from China, like no internet, no phone signal, no your, your phone is just dead. So like I didn't have any contact to anywhere outside of North Korea for two weeks. Like, wow. you're just like, right, ma'am, I'm going to, into North Korea. I'll speak to you in two weeks. Are right you on your own again? Yeah, on my own. So I went on my own, but I was a part of a, um, like, a guided tour. So there was other people on the tour. A couple <laughs> of guys from um, the Netherlands, really cool guys, a few German guys. Um, yeah, just from all walks of life, to be honest. But, like, I think it takes, like, we all had sort of a something similar to, I think it takes a certain type of person to actually pay to go to North Korea. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it takes a certain kind of person to travel on their own. It takes a, yeah. it takes a, you have to be brave to, to, to do that. And and North Korea seems like the most intimidating place yeah, do you know I can what? think of. I would say North Korea was one of the places that I felt the safest I've ever been. Oh, like, wow. I, mean, I had my camera set up. I'm like, and before I'm going in, I'm like, can I, like, I'm meshing the company. I'm like, can I take my camera in? Can I take the tripod in? Can I take the mic in? Can I, can I take this in? Can I take that in? And they're just like, yeah, yeah, like, whatever you want. I'm like, can I film everything? Like, what can I film? What can I not? They were like, we'll tell you when you can't film. Right. They were like, don't film the buildings because they're, they're sort of like protected by the military and don't film the military. Like, right. they're the two big no nos. And then if you cross in, because they have checkpoints within the country. So let, let's say North Korea's England. If you live in Manchester, you have to get a visa to go to Liverpool. Really? Yeah. So there's checkpoints. So everybody's in their districts, you get me? Wow. So so when you're there and you're on this tour, guided tour, yeah. are you very aware that they're showing you what they want to show you? Exactly. And that, that's what I was going to say. When you said to me, like, what do you think of that country? That's why you can't answer it because you're only seeing one side of it. You're not seeing the other side. Mm. So it's like... If you went to Lo if you've never been to London and you go to London for the week, and they take you down Mayfair, yeah, mm. they, they're gonna take you to the best places. Yeah. Generally. So like, in a way, it's like, oh, they, you know, they don't show you the bad bits. Well, if you went to London, no one's gonna show you the bad bits, are they? Yeah. You're, just gonna, you're there for a week. You're gonna you're gonna do the Tower Bridge. You're gonna do the Big Ben. You're gonna go. You know, you're gonna go up the wheel around the wheel and stuff like mm. that. So it was sort of like that. They were showing us the best bits. So I'm not naive to know that there was obviously nothing going on there. But from my personal experience, it was amazing. Mm. Like meeting these people, but even just like mad. Like there was one guy, um, one of our tour guides, and like I played him Elton John, your song. And he was like, oh my God, this song is so good. Who is it? 
Like, do you get me? They, they haven't got this so like out of like. And then I was like, "You've never heard of Elton John?" And he's like, "Never heard of Elton John." I'm like, played in Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen, and he's like, "Oh my god, this song is good." And like, he'd come up to me the next day, "Oh, can you play that song again? Who was it again?" I was like, "Queen," and he's like, "Never heard of Queen." Wow. Do you get me? Like this so, and then his English. I was like, and the the conversations mm. actually like. Uh, the more like you spent with them, and obviously as the two week, you know, by the end mm. you spend two weeks with anyone, you mates with them. Yeah, at the end. and then I, so you'd be really asking them questions. You know, I'd be and me being me, I'm pushing the boundaries anyway. Mm. I'd be like, oh yeah, asking him his opinion and stuff. And it, it just, it was just mad. It's mate. quite, it's quite sad though, isn't it? That like it, it, it well, is the reason that he doesn't know these songs because of what they control, what goes in and out. Do you know what? And this is obviously this is a, a quite a controversial thing to say, mm. but, but like. I, everybody who's listening to this, I'd say, give it some thought, right? These people don't know that and they haven't got a passport and they can't travel. That's not an option, yeah? I think it's really sad that they can't travel because, you know, everybody should have everybody should have the option of freedom, yeah? Mm-hmm. But, mate, they, they, like, they were so happy because they only know what they know. Are they? But but this might seem like an ignorant question. Yeah. And obviously, this seems like a, that 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 country seems like a million miles away from from anything I've ever experienced. Yeah. When you're on these tour guides, are you talking about the tour guides that you're speaking to, or are you talking about the civilians that you meet? No, the tour guides. Oh, right. So so be- they could be playing a role there, couldn't they? They could, but to be honest, mate, like you know, people say like actors and stuff like that. In our schedule, in our itinerary, it changed. Jamie, you know I it would change the last minute, and we'd take a detour or we'd go you know and my tour guide matt absolute legend he's he worked in north korea for six years and like he was on the level do you get me and right like, it things changed that it couldn't have been scripted okay do you get what so, i'm saying two, like, two on the in the moment yeah, yeah. There, there was t- there was too many things that changed and we went to a different place and somewhere would be shut so we'd be like oh we'll just go here instead sort of thing and it would be like his decision not the korean's decision right it, so it was too like that for it to be scripted for me like again i'm open to being wrong but that was my perception of it yeah would anyone act differently once you turned your camera on like would you find that they'd be more open in speaking until the camera's on just Um, in case obviously that footage is seen not really to be honest just because i don't think they again they've never heard of youtube if they're not aware so they don't know they they just think oh it's just a tourist taking pictures or something (laughs) i I don't even half the time knew they knew i was filming or something Mm. yet me so like it's a tough one, but going back to that question I was saying, it was like, like imagine, right, you live in your hometown and you're really happy and that's all you know. You know, mm. I, I, I it, it's, such a, it's such a tough question. It's such a tough question. It is, to yeah. Of. But do, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, for like, sure. If you're really happy knowing what you know, <clears throat> Yeah. if you, like, oh, introduce them to Facebook and Instagram and all these things, you know, are they, are they, are they going to be any happier because they've got that? Yeah, that's true. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, yeah, they should have the option, and you know, hundred percent. You know, it's I don't agree with it at all. Mm. But like, I don't know. They were just they, they were really happy living the lives. That it's kind of like the guy you mentioned in Thailand who didn't have all those things and was yeah, still exactly. happy with it. Yeah, the only the, the only you only know what you know. Yeah, Do you get what I'm saying. So, yeah. and they were happy with that. Mm. So, did they really? You know, by by opening them up to the world and everything that's going on, it, you know, is is, is that mm. is that going to make their lives any better? Yeah, could be more unhappy. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? Who knows? 